Um, we, today we are um, discussing the Brentmore and Historic Southside Street Maintenance Project. My name is Ire Tomiwa Otsuyelu. I go by Tommy. I am the project manager for this uh, project. I am a graduate engineer for the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department. The city inspector for this project is Manuel Torres. And the contractor for this project would be Advanced Paving Acquisition Limited. The construction cost is approximately $1.6 million. And the construction is, uh, of this project is expected to start on 1st of March, 2021. It's also expected to be completed um, in the first week of September 2021, as long as everything goes as planned. Um, Mr. Mike White, Mr. Mike Weiss, we see your message and um, we acknowledge you whenever you have any question. Um, now, the, the project limits, as you can see on the map, um, we're going to be dealing with some streets on, um, in the area, the Brentmore and Historic Southside um, area. We'll be working on sections of Bittison Street from the um, South Freeway Service Road up until Evans Avenue. We'll also be working on Lamont Street from the Service Road up until New York Avenue. We will be working on Butler Street from the Service Road to New York Avenue, um, Lomo Street from the Service Road to Evans Avenue, um, Dixon Street from the Service Road to the Dead End. We would also be working on New York Avenue from um, Ripey Street to Lomo Street. We will be working on um, Lomo Street from New York Avenue to Cole Street and Cole Street from Lomo Street up onto Min uh, Minden Street. We would also go up north to um, Terrell Avenue, where we'll be working from Kentucky Avenue up until the pavement changes to um, the concrete, concrete pavement. The scope of work for this project includes um, ADA compliant curb ramps. Some we when we visited the site, we realized or we observed that some curb ramps were either um, ADA non-compliant or they were non-existent. Um, so we're going to be working on, on, on that. We'll be working on some sidewalks that have been damaged, the existing sidewalks that have been um, very damaged. We're going to be replacing those. Um, the carbon gutters in some, in some places still would be, um, we'll be working on the carbon gutters in select places on, on the streets. As uh, we'd also be working on some driveway approaches, um, we we also observed that some driveways um, were extremely damaged, and they might need um, they would need to be replaced and also expanded in some driveways. After we're done with all the the concrete work, the contractor is going to go ahead and um, pave the roadways. So that's for um, roadway resurfacing. Um, the contractor is going to be taking care of. Most of the, the roadway surfacing, especially for um, the, the streets that I mentioned, except for Terrell Avenue, Terrell Avenue is going to be paved by our in house crew. Um, the pictures here show um, the current condition of, of some of, of the streets, of some um, places on the streets. Um, the pictures on the left here shows an example of uh, a damaged driveway as well as the concrete curbs and aprons. And the picture on the right shows what it's gonna look like after we are done um, with our construction project. The picture on the left here shows a, a, a concrete curb and, and shows the sidewalk going up to the concrete curb, but, but it's missing uh, curb ramps. Um, we are gonna be um, changing this. We're gonna fix this up and, and put up an accessible ADA compliant curb ramps. By the time we are done, it's going to look like this, the picture on the right. The picture on the left shows another example of, of a, a damaged sidewalk on one of the streets. Um, we're going to be replacing that. We're going to be working on that um, as, ne as needed. And by the time we are done, it's going to be looking like this. 
the picture on the right when we're done with our project. Again, the picture on the left shows a damaged um, asphalt pavement on one of the streets. You can see all the cracks here and it's it's missing some um, some street markings. By the time we're done, by the time our contractor is done with the project, it's going to look like the picture on the right with the appropriate street markings. Uh, Tommy, this is Riyadh. Uh, we don't have pavement marking on, on this project, this residential. Oh, okay. This picture is for Eritrea. So it's just to show what the pavement look like, but there's no going to put any pavement marking. Those are residential, does not require that. Just, okay. just for correction. Sorry, go ahead. All right. So what to expect during construction? Um, you can expect that a lot of construction equipment would be on the site for each street that we'll be working on. Um, there will be limit. There might be limited parking availability on the streets, and there will be a lot of um, construction sounds during um, during working hours, though, uh, as well as um, as dust caused by construction activities. We are we are making um, efforts to minimize uh, the construction impacts on the neighborhood. So as a result, construction signage will be placed around the sites. Any temporary closures will be communicated in advance. Construction equipment will not be staged in areas that would prohibit residential access and parking. Um, yeah, we, we actually discussed with the contractor about that. We, we don't want any equipment that's gonna be blocking residential access and parking. Any changes to um, the garbage and the US postal services will be communicated in advance. And residents, like I said, residents will be informed throughout the whole construction process of any, ch any changes that will be occurring in their neighborhood. Um, please be advised that regular working hours are Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Permission for occasional weekend work might be granted if required. And my contact information is right here on the screen. My name again, my name is Ire Tomiwa Otuyelu. I go by Tommy. My phone number is 817-392-6747. And my email address is iretomiwa.otuyelu at fortworthtexas.gov. Um, if we have any questions, now will be the time to answer them. Tommy, we do have, uh, this is Jeff, we do have one uh, question in chat right now from uh, Walter Williams. Uh, he's saying, he's asking what selection criteria was used to determine that Terrell Avenue uh, was to be maintained. There are many streets in historic Southside that would seem to be in worse shape. And as the neighborhood association, they have inquired about this, done field surveys and lobbied for some of those other streets for years. Uh, he wants to know wh where did they go wrong? Uh, uh, this is this is real. Uh, this was uh, uh, this trail is a little bit different than those streets. It's uh, it's a collector street. It's, it's like a major uh, uh, neighborhood street. What we're gonna do with that is gonna be a different procedure. Have lots of cracking and stuff like that, and we do want it to go get worse than that. What we're gonna do? We're gonna mill the existing two inches and replace with a new two inches. The rest of the streets and the map here, what uh, Tommy was talking about, and uh, print more. Those are we're gonna semi reconstruct those. We're gonna go and pulverize the existing uh, pavement down to eight inch. When it's do it, we still need to stabilize the, the sub base. Then we're gonna overlay, put a new top on a new new asphalt. So it's like two different procedures. So we don't want this trail to get worse than what's on it now. So we don't have to go and do and redo the, the sub base. And that's going to be done uh, by our uh, uh, city crew, we're going to pay for that. The only thing in this contract, the contract is going to up, upgrade the ramps for us. We're going to replace the existing ramps with the current ADA requirement. Hope I answered the question. 
Riyadh, uh, if I understand the question correctly, this question was, uh, what's the criteria of selecting the federal avenue because there are some other streets in the neighborhood are worse than these streets. So why I, are those streets not selected? I understand that it's uh, that because it's two different procedures. The, the, the one worse than that, it has to go into a recon. We have to reconstruct the street and it's go through a bond. This is we're just doing a uh, we're just doing maintenance on the street. Some streets are worse than the others. Uh, it goes either rehab uh, can be funded from this program maintenance program, and if it gets really really worse or bad street it has to go into another level, which is it has to go through the bond as needed in construction. So yeah, I understand that some states are worse than the others, but it cannot it, it, it be too much to handle through the maintenance fund. So because this is just just coming from maintenance fund. And then we look at those uh, we look at the one entire city that's state where we when we prioritize streets. Uh, some of them we go into into different uh, Category as fund available. I mean, I mean there is uh, certain streets uh, in, in mind, you know, we'll be happy to go look at it and discuss it in more detail, you know, where we stand on that road. Okay. Um, thank you, Riyadh. Do we have any other questions? Uh, there's nothing else in chat. Uh, Mr. Williams just said uh, thanks that they'll keep uh, keep swinging to try to get those remainder of the streets. Yes, sir. Yeah, and I tell Mr. Williams, and we'll be happy to to if he have list of streets, we'll be happy to go look at them and and, uh, and visit with him on any streets uh, he has in mind. I think Jeff, uh, Mike has a question uh, at the beginning. Uh, did you look at that? Um, he was just, he was just letting, um, making us know um, who he was representing. You, you mean Mike Weiss? Tariq? Yes, I think he, he, he has a question he wants to say, you know, raise his question after the meet, you know, after the after the presentation. I think he's here. If you listen, I think he can uh, he can talk. I think if he doesn't want to write, My, Mike Human, I, yeah, I think. Uh, can you unmute and, and ask your question, please? Yeah, if you have the mute button on the bottom of the screen. Um, the mute button is right here, Mike, on the bottom of the screen. Jeff, are you are you on, are you able to unmute Mike remotely? You should have, you, you might have the authority to do that. Uh, I'll give it a shot, but late, they made some changes to the system and. I mean, if he, if he has the question, he can, he can send it to you through the chat and we'll be able to answer it. Yeah, I can only, I can only make the request that they uh, unmute themselves. I can't actually do it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Can, can, can he hear us? Maybe he doesn't hear us. That's why.
I think I missed, but what was the start time on this? Um, the, the start time is March 1st and it's expected to be completed um, in September 2021. Perfect. Thank you. Mike. Okay. Um, Um, Jeff, have you tried to reach out to Mike? Have you, I don't know, is there a way you can send like a, a personal message to him or something? Yes, he said um, he would raise his hand if he had a question earlier in the chat. Gotcha. Okay. Um, do we have any other questions? His, um, his questions would likely revolve around the um, ADA curb ramps. If you could go back to that section and maybe discuss in detail of what uh, locations those are going to be placed at. On, uh, on this project, really, uh, in, in uh, Wintmore area, we have not, I don't think we're replacing any ramp because there is no sidewalk existing and we're not uh, putting new sidewalks. The uh, ramp's gonna be uh, on uh, East Carroll. Probably one or two on on uh, East in, on Brentmore area. I'm not sure if we see many. Yeah, um, in in places where west sidewalks are gonna meet with with curb ramps, we will definitely put uh, we'll definitely be install, installing compliant ADA compliant curb ramps. But if there are no sidewalks um, on the street at the time at, at the time that we get there, then yeah, I, I haven't seen any sidewalk in this area, so it won't be no, we're not we're on the ramps, but the ramps in this project will be on East Europe. Because already had sidewalk and existing ramps, we're just upgrading it to current ADA requirements. Okay. Any other questions? Um, Riyadh, Tariq, do you have anything to add to this? No, I think, you know, it's, uh, this is just, uh, to inform the residents what we're doing and what we're planning to do. And uh, if they have any question, they always can send it to us or call you. Put your uh, information back in the screen. So make sure they probably take a picture of it or write it down. And we'll be happy to answer any question from now all the way through to the end of the project. Uh, just like to add one thing, uh, prior to start construction, I believe the contractor will pass notice to the homeowners. So we will have another notice to the to the residents, uh, you know, prior to start construction, so we, certainly they will get in, in get informed about the construction coming up. Okay. Um, once again, my name is Tommy Otuelu. I'm I'm the project manager for this project. My phone number is eight one seven three nine two six seven four seven. And my email address is iretomiwa.otuyelu at fortworthtexas.gov. I'm not sure if we have any calling user. Okay.
So since we don't have any other questions, we yes, we can complete the day. Hey, Tommy, I just want to say something real quick. If they need somebody to translate for them, I'm the man, so I can translate to them in Spanish if they have any questions. Okay, cool. Um, do you want to uh, say your, uh, tell them your number? Yeah, I'm, I'll be the uh, construction inspector of this project. My number will be 817-647-2565. Uh, you're going to be seeing me more in the field. And... Uh, Tommy will be out there as well, but I'll be with the contractor and Mr. Maxu, and that that Spain we will be out there as well. Again, my number is 817-647-2565. Just in case you have any questions. Thank you, Tommy. Okay. Thank you, Manny. Yes, sir. All right. Um, once again, this is the Brentmore and Historic Southside Street Maintenance Project uh, public meeting. Uh, this would be the end of the meeting. Thank you all for coming. Have a good evening. Thank you.